All right, guys, here we go. Welcome back. I always say thank you, uh, and I think a lot of people get kind of sick of it. <laughs> but ultimately, I know you guys have a choice not to watch my content, so it means a lot when you do click on my videos. Uh, whether a series is, you know, blowing up or not, it just, the overall support just means a lot to me. So, um, you guys are amazing. You'll thrust this game quickly. Just keep it up. I love you all. Let's get this. All right, guys, here we go. Let's get it. I'm going to go ahead and keep the story going. Yo, I'm going to tell you, this area is really awesome so far. How badly do you need that it looks antenna. awesome, too. Well, to be honest, I've been having some problems pinpointing the signal since we entered the desert. I've just been guiding us on best guesses. I get it. I'll radio when I've cleared the way. Oh man, those okay, the flying like bird things or whatever, that's those are kinda scary, not gonna lie. Oh god. Yeah, let's just take it easy. Hold on. Oh, I need to hold on, let me get all these first. Yep, this is not a good start. Hold on. I really miss my other guns, and they're not even that... They were actually way worse than these as far as, like, a level goes. I'm really, like, cornered right now. Kind of just going for it right now. Ooh. Oh my god, hold on. Fire from the hip and just kind of hang back. Don't lead him, okay. Wait, did they just, did it just gain health? Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. I just realized there's two right. Oh my god. What? You get a lot of XP just in these last few areas because the story missions give you a lot, but also the enemy is just, it's always consistent. I don't think that was all of them. I didn't see the text pop up or anything really. So what I'm doing right now is this main story grinding. Uh, my overall goal, I have every side quest in the game left. I'm going to do all those, and I don't know if that's going to be enough to take me all the way to level 50 or whatever the max is. We're going to find out. There we go. This is definitely a military outpost, but I don't recognize the insignia. At least, it's obvious now where those feral aliens got their weapons from. It has to make you wonder. If we had enemies like these ferals on our side of the gate, would we have been too busy to start fighting each other? Well, wouldn't that have been sweet? We're about to use a tank, really? That's actually sick. I don't know how long we're going to... I bet it's just to blow up the door, too. How much you guys want to bet? Yep. Oh, man. I was hoping we was going to be in there for a while. That would actually be kind of nice. Have a little break from the... Uh, slugging through enemies constantly. One thing I'm actually excited for is when I get to level 50, or actually, I mean, if you have a higher world world tier, I'm guessing you can do up to like plus 10 levels on your gear you're wearing. So technically you could be level 40 and get a level 50 drop. Uh, right now I'm at like plus two. So it's like, I'm not, not getting a lot, but I'm also not overwhelming myself with worrying about upgrades. I just want to kind of experience the story the way it's, you know, normal at least. Oh, I actually had him. Hold on. I think I, the, like the element I want is the lightning. I had it early on, and it did 
not only so much damage, but it would have like an a AOE effect around the enemies. And just, I don't know, this is nice. Wait, did that, did that break the shield? Or is that just like, I did enough damage with the punch after all those bullets too? I don't know. We'll never know, I guess. Hold on. This is obviously the best ability in the game, like 100%. I guarantee you every tutorial on YouTube that's gonna be like, Here's what to use as a trickster. 100% of them are gonna say to use that. Not a doubt in my mind. I mean, it's way too strong. I wouldn't even be surprised if they nerf it after a while, which I hope they don't, but ultimately it's their, you know, their decision. I think it also, the fact that it gives you a full clip of whatever you're holding. It's very balanced in that perspective, I feel like. Because then you're not, like, running around with a shotgun with unlimited ammo for 80 shots or something. You could just... The DPS on bosses would be insane. Alright, I think we're good. The auto loot is still there. Let me actually loot uh, the spec here, though. Don't expect a lot of high drops right now. Let me actually see what we got. We got anything different? Full auto shoddy. That does not have. Oh man, it's so rough when it doesn't have that. That's actually worse. Oh, that's worse. Okay. I'll delete all that or sell all of it later on. Whatever that is. Okay. Is that a sniper that is also electrocuting me to make me not be able to move? If that's the case, I, I definitely want one of those. Gonna back up a little bit. Oh my god. That's so much damn. Freezing shot, that's what it is. A lot of people I've talked to said this game is very tough. I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I, I, I definitely could start... It, like, near the end of the last couple of parts, I was when I was on World Tier 7, I could definitely feel like, okay, this is going to be extremely difficult. But then... Once I dialed it back a little bit, so the XP really doesn't change, made things a lot easier. It's hey, still like a challenge. Still get some decent drops, but I can just kind of experience the story and not stress like I, I'm going to be so underleveled or underpowered because of the gear. I would almost just say keep it on the lowest worlds here for a while and level up your character. And then once you get to like... Mm, I'd say when you get to like close to 40, then crank it up. Unless you... Oh my god. Unless you can't get a... Now, that, now here's something I was thinking about, which I may do after I finish the story. I was actually thinking about like, what if the XP I'm getting right now is not counting. I'm actually going to check after this. Okay, that's perfect. Let me see. I am curious. 
I remember it was like a sliver. Let's see. Yeah, okay. You don't get any XP towards the world tier when you don't do that. Okay, that makes sense. Well, what I could easily do is just stack the... Uh, I can just stack it up to where I have enough stuff I can actually survive. Get it to 8, hang out at 7 for a bit. Just keep doing that over and over. Mm. All right, we got this. Hey, there's a pile of reports here. You're kidding. From the people who were here. What's in them? It looks like they encountered the same hostile natives as we did. They called them ferals. They established this fort as a base to send out scouting parties. Trying to track the ferals down. But eventually, the ferals found them. Doesn't look like anyone survived. The... Oh man, this is gonna be nuts. Let me just back up a little bit. Bring him through this door, maybe. If I had a really beast setup, you know, like I was really happy with everything, I would, uh, crank up the world tiers early on, but it just, it just seems like I needed, like, a break almost. is clear. I'm waiting for your arrival. Defend the position. This is about to be nuts. Oh, that's really loud. Battle in progress. I got oh, that's company. me. Uh, we got a bunch of I'm gonna research like what the best status effects are too. I feel like breaking the armor is also I don't know if it's easier when you have the armor armor piercing type stuff or what. I haven't tried multiplayer yet. I, I just wonder, like, is it a thing where the difficulty scales based on how many, like, players you actually have? Because I remember, like, the Division 2 did that, and it made it awful to play with other people. I don't know if this game does anything like that or not. I know Remnant also didn't... I don't know if it's more, more enemies, maybe, or more tanky bosses. I don't quite remember. I could be wrong, though. Then we got one more. Hold on. Nice. Let's get it, baby. I don't think we're done yet. Hold on. Oh, no. What is Pyramid Head about to come out or what? Oh, no.
Oh, they're actually all around me. Uh, this isn't good. Yo, they're everywhere. That little shot is, that right there is saving me so much. Yo, this guy's, look at his armor. I'm dead. 100% I'm dead. No, I, dude, I was just about to pop. Look at all the auto loot I got there. Alright, here's what worries me. I think I gotta do all that again. Yeah, I gotta do everything again. I just need See, to get to a certain a area of the map and just sit there. Generator. I'm shocked it still works. Powered up what I think is a headquarters building. Huh. Well, there's your high-class military gear. Runs on fuel with no electronics inside. If I wipe again, I'm taking off this gun and putting on the shotgun. Even if it doesn't have the right perks, you know. I will say this, the enemies do a good job of flanking in this game. Because it's like the AI is not, not dumb at all, you know? They actually know, like, how to get around you. I was gonna die right there, 100%. Yeah. A lot of places to take cover. Not really a game where you really need to, I feel like. You just kinda have to pace yourself. Alright, that was one section down. I don't know how many times we gotta defend, but my initial thought was we gotta defend and actually keep this from taking damage. But it's not that case at all. Ooh. What we get? Ooh, that actually might be a lot higher. Okay, we gotta figure this out. Mmm. So I'm kind of pace myself here. Nice, let's go. Let me get away from everybody just for a second, kind of get my bearings. Somebody's like sniping me. 
And that thing hurts a lot. Let me get over here. I'm gonna run inside, actually. <laughs> Gotta chill out for a second. I'm like in the zone right now. I'm sorry for not talking much. <laughs> when I when I have this many enemies uh, trying to kill me, I'm like, oh, let me just focus up. It is definitely a challenging experience, like a, a good challenging. It's not like, oh my god, I can't I can't ever do this. But it's just like just the right amount of overwhelming, where I gotta really like try, but also it's doable, you know. All right, we got this completed, so let me... Hey, I think that was the last of them. They attempted an ambush, but the outpost is secure. Try and keep it that way this time, please. Okay, we got a lot of stuff dropped, so I'm gonna just see... All these helmets are bad. Also looking at the perks on each one, just in case I see something that is... Like... Way better than what I'm currently using. This is, yeah, I must say that's gonna be really high. Cause I, I keep forgetting you can mod this stuff too. Granted, I don't need the temporal blade perks right now. Hmm. Oh, let me see what we got. Just anything. Weapon life leech. That is the one. Uh, higher everything, basically. But let's see what it has. It's got a. Uh, do not consume critical shots, though. Mm. What's the archetype? It's the same archetype. Killing, uh... I saw that... Yeah, I just... feel like the weapon life leech definitely is going to be... Strong on that. But I also like the perks I have on this one. The Like, the anomaly it creates is really strong. Okay, I'm just gonna keep... I'm gonna take this off and put this on just for now and just see how see how I like it. See if it's any better. I mean obviously it's higher DPS overall, but is it worth you know worth changing it up? We gonna find out. That area was pretty tough. It was it was like it's endless amounts of enemies. How do I get over there? Hold on, let me see what this is. I'll walk right past it. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> Went the whole other way. You hear that? It's a digital relay device. What the hell is it supposed to be relay? Our signal. Our signal? Was them? But how was it playing when I landed? How is that even possible? It's not. It's not possible. Only one interstellar ship ever left her. Ours. Then who were they? Doesn't matter. Those coordinates. We find them, we plug in, and we contact the damn Flores. These are like arcade machines for a minute. Alright, let's go talk to her and then continue to the desert. Here we go. Uh, I think we go back here. Yep. Echoes. You know, sometimes I'll put my controller down thinking the fast travel is going to take a little while. Wait, is she not over here? 
Oh, let me double check. Did I go too far? Oh, it says I am there. Can I not just fast travel back over there? Hold on. Let me see if I can just fast travel. I'm pretty sure you can. Would make sense if you can. Oh, I guess you can't. Okay. So that's why we're going to have to... We have to be here anyways. That's fine. Because we already cleared out the enemies in this area. So I'm guessing... This is where like, we fought those birds, I think. Hopefully there's no, no more enemies for a little while. I could actually use a break from fighting. <laughs> hey, it's tough, man. There's a lot... I mean, it's a lot of content, but good gracious. Now, I thought I could just fast travel where she was, but I guess I was wrong. Are we even getting closer? Yeah, there's a flag up here. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, maybe it's because I don't have it unlocked or something. I'm not really sure. Hopefully, it's just cutting through here and we can... Or maybe not. Hey, we got some loot. Oh, no, some ammo. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, yeah, the flag right here. So, we could have came here. So, why, why is that not... Oh, we're going... What? You know what I just realized? It just dawned on me. I read this online and maybe this is what it is. Uh, there's actually a waypoint issue where it will display it somewhere else that's being worked on. Yeah, because she's right here, I think. Yeah. See, okay. See how that says? I can almost go over there. I was confused. I told you so. Here we go. All right, we're in. Uh, we're here right now. Yo, we got a lot of areas in this game. Sacrifice? I don't like Stay the sound here. of that. I'm going to try and secure a safe path through these canyons. Let me know if you can reach that massive obelisk we saw. I've never seen anything like it. August also seems drawn to it. I'm sensing great agitation. Hmm. August wants to follow you. Hold August until I'm through, Tiago. It's not safe. My only worry right now is... I mean, none of this stuff really matters. Because, I mean, unless you feel like spending a bunch of... Uh, like a bunch of... Uh, ma like materials leveling up everything. I don't think your guns really matter as much as your perks you have. That giant monolith reminds me an awful lot of the... Like, every time I go to talk to somebody, they're already about to go into, like, a dialogue rant. Um, okay, so level 26, I think, is what... Yeah, this stuff's at. What I can do... I mean, I don't like LMGs per se. So, actually, wait, when did I get this? Hold on. I'm actually about to mod... Wait, if you level up raise attributes... Now, improve rarity. Oh, it costs 50. Yo, that's actually... I mean, status power, long-range damage. Critical shot spawn anomaly energy. I feel like that is going to be really strong. Mm. The only thing is, I'm going to swap the variant to standard. I really don't like the... Uh, the other one, the burst. Weapon life leech. What does this cost? It says 78. I don't... Hold on, how many shards do we have? I'm not gonna... I don't want to go too ham with a, a, a blue weapon. Granted, I can take it. Now, if I ever got a blue weapon that was really strong... Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one and then I'm gonna put on... This right here. Not a, wait, where was it at? Here it is. Weapon life leech. I'm actually going to see something really quick. 
I'm going to change the mod on it. Yeah, I, I just want to just put that on there. Just because I'm used to having it and to stay alive. What is this one? Icebreaker. Raise rarity. I mean, to be honest, leveling this thing up. Oh, you wait, you can level up. Okay. So the rarity is what it costs to level it up. So this one uses the iron. That is actually nice. I didn't realize that. I could even go higher. Look at that. Oh, this is about to be my, 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 my whole life just got a lot easier. All right. Oh, yes. Current highest max. Look at that DPS right there. So if I was to say I want to do the same for this one, right? It's going to cost the other material. Okay. That makes sense. Yo, that is sick. Alright, I think I'm good. I think, uh... Oh, we got a whole section here, too. Wonder, like, as far as the way the game is playing out... Wonder where, like, the end game's gonna be at. Because they have a lot of areas. Oh, this thing cooks. Leveling up blue weapons. Hold on. I think I may have just found, like, my favorite thing to do al already. Farming blue weapons with decent rolls. Slapping the one mod you want on there. Because half the time on the other ones, you only get one anyway that you can really change. And then on top of that, I mean... This might make my life a lot easier, man. Just saying. And I'm about to level up, too. Might put on the shotgun. Now that I, now that I think about it, oh, that shotgun would have been perfect. I can't remember if it was a green one or... I mean, I'm just glad I got something that I can carry with me. Yeah, that might be something I try out. Oh, yeah. Yo, leveling up blue weapons might be the play. Until you get to, like, level 40. Maybe then start expanding out. Because I'll be honest, like, I wasn't expecting... I mean, it's still, like, high DPS. You still get one mod slot. That might just be the key. Anything lower than this, you don't get a mod you can put on there. So I'm not really sure what the best strat would be for this, but this just seems like... This just seems like the way to do it, you know? Level 25, let's go. It looks like we weren't the first humans here. I'm seeing a number of dead bodies. The same people who people you saw? Out in the sand? Possibly. I'm guessing this party was sent out by Monroy from that fort. Doesn't look like these guys had much more luck. Any more clues to who they were, what they were doing here, would be quite fascinating. Keep your eyes open. One thing I want to check. Oh, yeah, harvesting. Can't really do that too much. Oh, it's back up here. Anything? It's a pretty substantial area for nothing. Uh, what? What is this? What's this for? I don't know if I want to activate that, to be honest. Mm, I'm just going to touch. Alright. I'm guessing maybe if you... There's all those things are all over across the map. Like, I wonder if... You get them all, you get some kind of crazy legendary set of armor. I would not be surprised if that's a thing. 
if that is the case, I kind of hate I did that one because I really wanted to... I like using like a guide or something and then just getting them all at once. Alright, let me... I'm going to check something really quick before we go any further. So... I know I got a full auto shotty right here. I the fact that I could level it up and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna travel back. What was the camp at right there? Oh yeah, this about to be sick. So I can use the shotty again. Cause then we can like, I guess springboard it. Anything that is blue. I mean it's gonna be a lot easier to level up now. Now that I know it doesn't take that other material. Which I had no, no idea. Um, yeah, because I, I don't know. We'll change it out. Same thing as the other one. That also uses iron. Okay. A lot of, a lot of stuff uses that same thing. Uh, what about leveling it up? It's probably going to not have enough. 724. Let's go. Well, I'm officially broke. <laughs> Officially have nothing else to use. That is sick though. Both got what I want. Both full full auto, level 27, level 28. Mm, let me delete these. Got a lot of leather. A whole lot. You know what I haven't seen in a while is a vendor. Whatever happened to vendors? It's like they just vanished. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody like you have to like go all the way back to get those. Let me restock. Just in case the shotgun didn't have any. Alright, two blue weapons. Let's go. Just the way it was intended. Kinda expected something like this. I feel like Burst also would be good for this. Since the good thing about Burst is it's also a full auto type of thing. What I like about eight, the assault rifles versus the double guns. At least, the only the variants I've seen, at least. My... From my seeing everything so far in the game, like, all my knowledge that I currently have, which is, isn't a lot, I do feel like... A double gun reloads very slow. Shotgun reloads very slow. Um, ARs and SMGs don't really reload that slow. I feel like an AR is just so balanced. Like, it's got good range. The variance, if you need to change it. The burst is really good. I haven't tried the single. I don't really know what that's like. I guess it's like a DMR type thing. Unless I have tried it, I don't know it. You ran into my way. All right, moment of truth, guys. What's the damage here? Not a lot. <laughs> you guys are still tanky. There we go. Let's get it. Woo! All right. Two epics right there. Oh, wow. I want to put this on, but I want to wait really quick. That's the first purple sidearm we've gotten. All right, nice. That is the very first one. I, yeah, I'm about to say, that thing is going to be extremely high. Soul Devourer and Clip Roller. Armor Pierce, Long Range, and Status Bar. That's pretty strong. Not gonna lie, this is I'm gonna guess this thing's gonna be like eleven hundred. Yo, let's get it. 
I am kind of keeping an eye on what I want as far as if I see a piece of armor. I'm looking at under armor where it says 1110. The anomaly power, status power, and cooldown reduction. I'm keeping an eye on those three things. If I get anything... I don't like healing received. I don't know what bonus fire power does, but... You know, we're figuring everything out as we go. Um, keeping an eye on all those things. Bet you there's a chest like right here. No? Alright. Ooh, hold on. Open the door. Zahidi, I found some writing. Seems to be anthropological notes from a doctor in Dear Ocasio. A scientist among Monroe's people? What did she find? She was documenting what happened from the day they met the natives. Pax, they called them. Description matches August. She says they were welcomed with open arms. Pax. Yes, that would certainly fit August. Incredible. Wonder what happened when God Godfall came out and just like I don't know anybody that plays it. Kinda wonder like wait. Okay, just make sure it's not another other thing. I found some pages written by Monroy, these people's leader. He led the raiding party into this canyon. Believing it was the Feral's base, that he could root them out. Maybe they were trying to help August's people. Tiago, does August know anything about this Monroy? I have tried asking, but August won't speak about this place to me. Little fast travel flag right here. Let's go, baby. All right, so we got on the other side of that, luckily. Yeah, we're about to fight a bunch of stuff. I might, I'm not sure what kind of build I want to go for right now. That's why I, I'm going to start putting all my legendaries, even the thing I deleted I kind of hate. I'm a legendary, but my, uh, what's the other one? Epic, the uh, purple one. So we'll put all those in. Like a little storage area, like a stash or whatever, just because I don't like the fact that you can level up anything. I could have deleted a god roll, not really knew it, you know. I'm getting cooked right now. That noise is so sick. I gotta back up some. I need some more room. I also felt like I felt like when the PlayStation 5 first came out, uh, God Godfall maybe should have been like a free-to-play game, and then I think it, and plus it didn't have matchmaking, which is I don't know how that even happened, but I just wonder like there's so many of these types of games, and like everybody knows what is gonna work and what's not. I just wonder why so many of them fell. Like Anthem, the Avenger game had a pretty Low player base after launch. Uh, I don't know how it is now, but games like this, I just, I just want to like see more of them succeed, so then people make better ones because there's so many good ones. You know what I mean? There's a thing without competition, your games can just be me mediocre, and people won't, you know, try to. I like imagine if Destiny had a direct competitor that's an FPS loot, that not, not like Borderlands, you know. August and I are just right behind you, Outrider. Shouldn't you be waiting in the camp for my signal? Sorry, August slipped out. I couldn't.
What I like this is like gonna be a boss fight. You all have to see this. August. What happened here? Incoming! Get out of there! Now! Shit. Hide! In there! Go! Oh boy. Uh, defend the entrance. Oh yeah, sure, I'll get, I'll get right on that. I don't think I'm gonna be coming down here or what? I wouldn't mind seeing something like a. Uh... Now, decrease reload time might be something that I look at in the future. That is at the top column, I think, if I do go shotgun AR build type of stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So many ups. And who knows, by the time I get to 50, when everything actually matters, maybe they'll nerf a lot of the stuff I like or buff other ones that make me change my mind, you know? The game is still fresh. I'm just surprised, like, blue weapons are might be the way early on. Because it's cool to have the legendaries and the epics and all that, but I just feel like... This might be the way. Who knows? It's like backwards from a lot of other looter shooters, though. I, I like you get uh, usually you have like a base level, and then at the end you unlock like the end game. You know? Oh dear, this thing is gonna be tough to fight. Hold on. Hey, I almost got him. Let's get it. Hey, that shotgun is the only thing that saved me. If I had that... If I had that LMG still, just because it's legendary, I would have got evaporated right there. Yeah! <laughs> 
Chicago. You know me. Please, Lord, I'm your friend. What the hell happened to August? August's people weren't wiped out by savages. They became savages. But why would they do that? <laughs> That's a crazy cutscene. Outrider, we're burying August's body. Do you want to join us? I, uh, I'm not there yet. I'm just, I'm gonna stay a bit longer. Take another look through the camp's remains. Found something you should know about. More of Munroy's writing. Seems he discovered the same thing we did about the packs transforming. Does he say why? Why they would do that to themselves? No. Only that he and his men stayed here for some time, studying and experimenting on the obelisk, trying to understand its powers while repelling non-stop attacks. But when he learned that his fort had fallen, he finally retreated back to his colony. His colony? I'm out there. We should look for them. After we find the signal. Alright, let's get it going. Whenever you're ready to head out. Yo, we got a lot of stuff in this game. I mean, it's a long campaign, but I like it. Look at that. Another area. Let's go, baby. All right, so we're here right now. Hold on. Let's see how far we're going. Uh... Oh, wow. Hold on. So you... That noise when you go across the map is actually kind of insane. La bulk of the game's right here. Then you come over here with a grinding noise. That's a long journey. I'm guessing we will go the entire map. So close. The signal's coming from just beyond this ridge. Stay on the lookout. You see any movement, run. All right, quest completed. Sacrifice. Sit tight, people. I'm going to clear the way. It's time for some answers. You know, I've done this game all, like, without any help so far. I mean, I did have that one, one, like, little five-minute span where I had World world Tier 1 on, but, um, other than that, everything, I've been, like, five or higher until I've been, uh, where I am now. All right, let's go ahead and move everything else to the stash. Don't really need to keep all that, just in case I decide to just sell everything I currently have. Yeah, there's, like, it's crazy. There's no, uh... Ba Babylon is the name of this. That's actually kind of cool. Hmm. What do we have here? Zahidi, I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. It seems Monroy didn't believe the packs were so peaceful. When their tech started getting fried, he suspected the packs were trying to sabotage them. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the packs doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the packs were causing the storm? I, uh, thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. So that collect all the rays you can find me. 
Perhaps we can learn their story. Get some health back on that guy. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just enough to get it done. I'm probably going to wind up... You know what? I just realized I'm going to wind up going back to the original class where I, I guess, slice or whatever. One thing I just realized, though, I don't think I've seen any enemies teleport. You know? Like, everything seems really stable in this game. And I... Now, I'm saying this right now. Granted, I still got a little while in this game still, but I just... I was just thinking about it. I was like, man, I haven't really had my game crash yet. The game is very stable. Now, I'm on, I'm on PS5, and I got everything on, like, performance mode just because I'm more about frames than I am resolution, which I guess, you know, good thing I can actually... It's like the longest series I've ever recorded in 4, 4K, by the way. So I really appreciate all the extra love and support on this. I, I don't know if I'll ever do this again, but my video quality, I felt like, looked pretty good on this, and... I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I was just excited. Yeah, it's like it takes it away. These guys with like the snipers is just too much, man. Javelin strike from all the way back there. All that protection. Let's see how it is. Ground slam. Oh no, please don't kill me. I heard that noise. Is that like... I don't know if that's loot or what. Nice, let's get it. Hopefully no more skulls pop up. I didn't mean to go down there. I actually tried to teleport back, but it didn't work. That that is so frustrating. You're just trying to like just like you can't even protect yourself from this guy's sniping. He's got it all, man. You gotta be kidding. Come on, dude, peek out, please. You can beat this game pretty fast if you just have it on like world tier one and just rush through it. You know, I wanted a little bit of challenge and a little bit of better loot, I guess. My worry is I get down here and this guy does like an elite, it's gonna pop out of nowhere. Nope, we're good. All right, one too bad. There we go. After the first big storms burn out most of their tech. Sounds like Monroy got furious. He demanded explanations from the Pax and access to their powers. But they didn't understand. They offered everything they could. They led Monroy through the jungle to their sacred city. Probably this city. The place we've discovered. I was just thinking I might reset my footage, but I guess I'll do it after this. Not sure how I've done the editing up to this point, because I recorded probably the last seven hours of this game all at one time. And then I'm going back doing intros and everything after I've finished the game. But I will say this, it means a lot to me you guys supported everything up to this point. Um, it's just been a 
fun game, and my my goal for this year was not not every time I start something I finish it, but like if I if I'm gonna go all the way, and I know that from the start, I just go for it, you know. Oh my god, I might die here, guys. I'm dead. Yep. I you know what I okay I made a perfect. Uh, error right there. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna stop just yet. I want to go ahead and just continue this because we already got the momentum now. I overextended right there. That was my fault. And the enemy's flanked too, so I, I give the AI some credit there, you know. Oh, but anyways, what I was saying was like, anytime I start something that I'm like, all right, I want to do a full game. Sometimes I'll upload and not really know. If people are going to enjoy it or not, so then I wait to kind of see how the first videos do. But, like, uh, you know, obviously, if I play, like, Resident Evil Village, I'm going all the way no matter what. <laughs> you know, stuff like that is a guaranteed. But this was kind of in the middle. Wasn't really sure. But once I made the commitment, like, all right, I'm going to call this thing, like, full, full game and all that stuff. Uh, or not call it full game. But, like, just in general, put, like, the thought, like, hey, I'm about to go all the way with this. Because I'm going to be grinding this game, like, a lot. Like, I feel like maybe after... After I finish the game, I don't know if I'll record some of the side stuff, but I definitely want to... I actually like how the, the big elite enemies come, come at you with, like... They kind of just move slowly at you, you know? All right, time to get out of here. Yeah, you can kind of single them out because you literally will sit behind something. And here they come. Put my skill recharge. Yeah, today is the day I'm finishing this game. Not like in this video, but... Well, actually, I don't know what the... Editing style is going to be like for this. I'm overextending right now, and I probably shouldn't have. These guys are teleporting. Now that it, it's funny, like, they just talked about enemies teleporting, and I'm pretty sure that one just happened. All right, I'm getting out of here. Look at these enemies. Oh, look at this guy. Hold on. Beaming traps. Oh, it's those things that spin. I'm out of here. It's over for you, buddy. Healing light. No, you don't. Don't do it. Ah. Oh. Nice. Let's go. That healing light didn't give him as much as I thought it would. <laughs> I was like, uh, please don't heal him too much. Probably gonna do like longer parts, I'm guessing. I don't know what my editing decision's gonna be right now. If a series isn't like popping off, I like to not make it linger around for too long just because I I don't want to be like four or five weeks from now still playing this game, you know what I mean? Or still uploading it. Um, but what I will say is... Let me try this again. Yeah, it takes it all the way. Let's go, baby. Might do some longer videos towards the end because there's a lot of repetition in this game. I like literally I go to one area and fight a ton of enemies get a checkpoint each each section has kind of been like uh, the same kind of formula not that it's bad but like I can see maybe watching it might be a little not as entertaining sometimes I'm all excited about Luke though 
All right, nice. Then we got two points. Oh. Try to show them how they commune with the anomaly. But Monroy thought it was a ploy to assassinate him. He ordered the executions of the pack's leaders and locked down the temple. All right, I'm going to reset everything now. Um, if it'll let me plant the flag, I don't know. Still up for debate, I guess. Here we go. Capture this point. All right, yeah, let me check out everything before we turn everything off. Uh, or at least reset everything. I think what I'll probably go with here is the reload speed. I've been kind of skimming over that one for a while. And I feel like it's about time. I feel like anomaly power is going to be insane. Shield degradation, not too worried, but I also have to pick one of these two to increase my overall health. Weakness, uh, activated melee. Yeah, I, f I forget about that one too. I don't know what to do here. Critical damage, cooldown of your movements. Which I think I got the cooldown of the other ones too, so it'd be like a 15 on 15 for that. What is this one? Resistance? Yeah, resistance. Increase your resistance piercing, okay. When surrounded, which doesn't really happen often since I like to stay away from everybody. Activating your deception. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to do this one. That way it's kind of evened out. Also have uh, accolades. See what kind of reward we get here. I like how you earn everything inside the game. You know? Okay. Uh, let me just get some ammo and then reset everything. 